What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake and in today's video, we've got a three-way competition between BZ Miner, LOL Miner, and Rigel Miner to figure out which is the best one for mining Ironfish. Now, there are a couple of other options if you're using AMD, then you've also got Team Red Miner, and there is also SRB Miner, which will do Nvidia and AMD. However, uh, the performance on that one was significantly lower and we've already shown a uh, competition between it and BZ Miner whenever BZ Miner had its beta release. So for now we're just going to take a look at these three because they seem to be performing the best. Keep in mind the time of recording is April 23rd 2023 and before we get into the content if you would do me a favor hit that like and hit the subscribe if you haven't already. So we're going to take a look at the farm here. Right now we've got 424.5 gigahash on Ironfish. Our wattage shows about 3400 watts in software. However, we still have one rig uh, that is using about 200 watts on Caspa. So I guess technically we'd be at about 3200 watts for 424 and a half gigahash. So I want to take you through the flight sheets here. And I want you to keep something in mind as we go through the flight sheets. I'm not putting the overclocks within the extra config arguments because I had to test multiple overclock settings and it was just easier to use in VTool. And we're going to go over how to use both. But for now, let's take a look at the basics on BZ Miner. So we've got Ironfish as the coin. The wallet, of course, is our wallet. We've got Hero Miners for our pool. Now, before we go too much further, let me just point out that Hero Miners currently has the majority of the hash rate on Ironfish, and I highly recommend that you select another pool so that we can decentralize the hash rate. Now, I'm using Hero Miners for this test because initially there was an issue where only Hero Miners was getting 3x the hash rate as the other pools. So to keep everything fair, and even across the board, we're using that for testing purposes. Now, when it comes to flight sheets on LOL Miner, it's pretty much identical. Really, the only difference here is some of the syntax that you're using for the flight sheet. And then we're on version 1.74. And then when it comes to Rigel Miner, everything is the same and the flight sheet looks pretty similar. We're on version 1.4.4. All of these versions should be available for you in HiveOS. However, if you're having an issue with Rigel Miner specifically like I did, make sure that you update to the latest version of Hive. Now, when it comes to overclocks within your extra arguments, um, I'm going to pull up a flight sheet for Nexa just so that we can see the difference in syntax between BZ Miner, Rigel Miner, and Nexa, or excuse me, LOL Miner. So in BZ Miner, you're not going to use these exact overclocks for Ironfish. What I want you to see here is the extra config arguments commands. They're going to be different for each miner, and I highly recommend that you put your overclocks within the config arguments instead of using in VTool. This way, if your rig happens to reboot, uh, your overclock settings will not be lost, and you don't have to worry about using too much power or damaging any of your equipment. So that's BZ Miner. And... This is going to be Rigel Miner. So notice the difference in the syntax for each command. Keep in mind, um, your memory clock is gonna be 810 on Ironfish, not 5001. And then for LOL Miner, a little bit different once again. So I'll leave each of these in the description down below so that you have the proper commands for each of the miners. So at the time of recording, Ironfish is coming in at about $13. It's fluctuated significantly today. Oh, hello, kitty. And it's been as low as, I think, about $8. Uh, it shows 10 here, but yeah, I think at some point I saw it dip down pretty good. It is still currently the most profitable thing to mine on a GPU. And if we take a look at my farm on Hero Miners, we can see currently it's showing 449 gigahash. And... It's estimating 2.68 ironfish per day, 18.7 per week, or 80 per month. 
and that's still going to be quite a bit more profitable than anything else. However, hashrate.no's calculator doesn't have a price for the coin yet. Uh, you can calculate what you're using in power. So I'm currently using about $8.16 at $0.10 cents per kilowatt hour. What about $0.15 cents per kilowatt hour? We'd be at about $12.24. And if I put in what I'm actually getting, I'm only using about $5.71 a day in power. Now let's go ahead and take a look at a spreadsheet comparing all of them with multiple overclocks. So as you can see, Rigel Miner is highlighted in green on efficiency here because it was the most efficient out of the three miners. This is a 3060 Ti, followed by a 3070, 3070 Ti, 3080, 3080 Ti, and a 3090. So we were using 480 watts in software if this was a rig, and we're getting 67.949 gigahash. And let's take a look how that compares to BZ Miner. So you can see lower hash rate, more wattage. In this case, lower hash rate, less wattage on a 3070. And I'll just let you look at the results for yourself for just a moment, and then we'll take a look at LOL Miner. Oh, by the way, this is using core offset of 300, locked core at 1545, and memory locked at 810. So here's LOL Miner compared to BZ Miner, and as you can see, BZ Miner beat it on all GPUs as well. So what about some different overclocks? Next up, we've got a core offset of 300, locked core at 1305, and locked memory at 810. And as you can see, once again, Rigel Miner coming in on top with the most efficient GPU and all of the settings that I've tried thus far, an efficiency rating of 178.49, which is pretty darn good. And we'll compare this to BZ Miner and LOL Miner. And as you can see, the 3070 Ti did perform a little bit better on LOL Miner. I'm not exactly sure what was going on here, but typically BZ Miner would be right there in second place against all of the GPUs. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't calculate revenue and profit and make this video in a timely manner. So as soon as we get some profitability numbers, I'll share that with you. Now, here we've got a core offset of 300, locked core at 1650, and locked memory at 810. And as you can see, Rigel Miner is coming in on top once again, followed by BZ Miner and then LOL Miner. And I'll go ahead and zoom out. Maybe we can see all of this information at once. And there you go. So clearly Rigel Miner is the winner in software. Now this does not mean that we are getting more shares on the pool. And the only way to do that test properly would be on a static difficulty pool or a non var diff pool and test for at least 24 hours but for the sake of time this is what we've got and i hope you enjoyed the content if you would do me a favor hit that like and if you haven't subscribed already please do so and i'll see you guys on the next one